Is that from her college? It is the, all. The poster, yeah. Yeah. Sid. Like from that play that she's waiting for you. Surprised that she's starting a movie. <laughs> right after what all the drama. Mm -hmm. You have to come and see. You have to come and see. Creepy. Creepy. I still say he's the second killer. Think so? Yeah. Huh. The whole second killer thing. You think it's a plot hole? You think they did that on purpose? I think it's a plot hole. Well, all the rules are out in this movie. Yeah, they are. Do we make a video on this? Let's make a video. Yeah, alright. <laughs> What's up you guys, welcome back to I Love Movies, our channel dedicated to the love and obsession of all things movies. And TV. And if you already saw the title, Can Scream 2022 Fix the Missing Second Ghostface Killer in Scream 3? I don't know, but there was an article from Screen Rap by Daniel, from Daniel Evans, who wrote just specifically that. Yep, that's right. And he thinks by bringing back the character Angelina Tyler, they could do just exactly that. Yep, and by bringing her back, they're gonna be keeping to the model it's always someone you know. Yes, and not only can it clear up several plot holes in the movie, but there might also be evidence that she is indeed the second killer in the in the film. So we're gonna be looking at that a little later. And you know what, and just to throw that in there, to mm -hmm. be honest, I always thought it was Dr. McDreamy, or Deputy McDreamy, or Detective McDreamy in this movie. Oh, Officer McDreamy? Yeah. Oh, okay, then that would mean that her death was faked by Roman, and she could still be alive at this point. That's right. Um, that could be possible, all right? So remember, Roman did fake his death in a couple scenes he just did. previous than that. Um, but let's first talk about some of those plot holes that Daniel Evans brings up. First first is, exactly how did Ghostface get in touch with Sydney that night? That's right. They don't really talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, that wasn't something that was explained at the end of the movie no. when Roman was kind of going over... Pretty much everything. He didn't really explain any of that. No, no, he didn't. And that brings up another good plot point in the movie, which was who turned on the gas and set off the fire, the explosion at Jennifer's mansion. Uh, okay, so on that whole scene, I actually have a question slash theory. Okay, so it was a, it was supposed to be Roman that was sending them faxes, right? If he was Ghostface, right? So does that mean that Roman was down at the streets? With the whole fax machine, because don't you need a fax machine to send fa send faxes? Well, to to answer your well to answer your question, yes, you do need a fax machine. So, what's your theory? Okay, I think it was Detective Kincaid at a different house down at the bottom of the hill sending those faxes, while Roman was at the top of the hill killing um, bodyguard Stone. Detective, uh, <laughs> our bodyguard Swanson. <laughs> I think, so while, while Roman, Ghostface, was killing him, he snuck inside and turned on this, the gas mm -hmm. while, while um, Kincaid was at a different house down at the bottom of the hill. Because how, how are they getting these faxes? Okay, so, 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 do you think he had, so do you think he would have time to actually make it down the hill? Yes, I do. Yes, I, you know what, I actually do think that he would have had time um, to get down as the faxes were being sent. But Daniel thinks that it was Angelina giving Roman time to get down the hill. Okay, well, here's something else that the viewers might have, viewed, might have missed. Um, Angelina actually dis may, um, disappeared right before the explosion even hit. So she, like, it made it seem like she knew it was going to happen. Yeah. Yeah, so we have the pictures queued up right here. And we will show you guys clearly before the explosion mm -hmm. happens. Here she is. And you see that the camera literally starts panning away from her towards them and she's leaving the group almost to make us forget about her. They don't show her falling down the hill or having her calling out for help as Gail and Gail and Jennifer do. That's right, you're right. So we have the pictures again queued up right here. You could clearly see them falling. There's only the three of them. Mm -hmm. I know she was just a little bit more to I guess their right, but she would have been somewhere around, and we don't see her falling anywhere with them right here in this explosion. So, um, so that's that. And also, Dewey doesn't even call out to her, which no. is a little messed up, but their little trick to make us forget about her again in this scene. Out of sight, out of mind. Exactly, exactly. Out of sight, out of mind in this sense. 
which brings which brings us to her death and her being mysteriously pulled away. Yep, we do see her get into a little tussle right there with Ghostface, and uh, we cut away, and a few cuts later, she's on the floor with some blood being mysteriously pulled away. Yep, and that's not the last that we see of her, which also brings us to Daniel Evans from the screen rant. He thinks Angelina and Roman faked that whole thing, being the thespians that they are, so that they could possibly get Angelina out of the whole situation nice and safely. Yeah, maybe, um, yeah, maybe that means her work was done at that point, and that was her way of helping Roman get away with all this stuff and to come back later on. Which brings us to some evidence pointing towards Angelina being the second mysterious killer and not Dr. Detective McDreamy. Mm -hmm. So, in the Scream Trilogy DVD box set, there is a booklet of all of Ghostface killings, and Emily Mortimer is not listed. That's right. And if that isn't proof enough on the Scream 3 audio commentary, the editor himself, oh. Patrick Lassure, even mentions in that audio commentary that her body was mysteriously dragged away so that it would leave us, the audience, wondering what happened to her. So she was deliberately left out of the ending for one reason or another. Yeah, one reason. Like they mentioned in the film, this is the ending of a trilogy. So mm -hmm. maybe all of everything's off, all bets are off. None of the rules apply to this movie like they did to the second and to the first film. And also on that, maybe they just wanted the ending to be a little bit more ambiguous to, to us, the audience, kind of like yeah. The Shining, okay? Maybe they didn't want to give us the same generic ending over and over again, so they left this one a little open, right? And another reason why they could have let, they left this open was because they could have brought her, they could have been bringing her back as a possible um, returning villain. Which brings us to, it's always somebody you know. And you know what, that was a great article written by Daniel Evans over at Screen Rant, but with the information on IMDB and the official Scream 2022 posters already re released just a few days ago, it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting that in this movie, but maybe we could get that in a future movie. Yep, and with that, hopefully you stay tuned until January 14, 2022 when the movie is debuted. So we'll see what they're hiding. That's right. Thanks, guys. And if you're not already subscribed, please hit that button, ring that bell to stay notified of any videos coming your way, and give this video a great big thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye, guys. That was a good job. Good that job, was. Good job. Already. Which brings us to some evidence pointing to Angelina being the mysterious second killer and not Detective McDreamy. Yep. Yep. That's, oh, that's you. Shit. Yep, that's you. <laughs> All right. That's so, when you talk. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in right now. <laughs> okay, right I'll, that I'll, point. I'll, I'll no, no, I'll, no, no, no. I'm, sure. I'm gonna give myself a three second and then I'm just gonna jump in. You can cut, you can cut it right there. Okay. <clears throat> so, so it, okay. give yourself a three second.